Hey guys, this is Balint, and today I'm going to talk about ManyChat's uh, rules, uh, where you can set up triggers and actions. So basically the bot executes some sort of action when an event happens. I'm going to go quickly over what uh, possibilities we have. I just wanted to quickly mention that uh, it's awesome and some of the f uh, things that you have been able to do before are easier and cleaner now, such as uh, you don't need the sequences anymore and you probably can save a little bit on your Zapier or third party tools that you have. And you have new opportunities. Uh, so let's uh, dive into it. So as you can see, it's under the automation and rules. It's still in beta, but um, rolling out now for bigger bots as well. And you can set certain triggers to execute the action. Um, very interesting, the date and time-based triggers. Uh, here I'm going to uh, talk about the last scene and last interaction because it, it gives you a little bit more uh, ideas what you can do here and you can also set up uh, certain dates. And um, you can have like tags, uh, certain changes in, in customer values. Uh, we will go into that later as well. And about the actions, that's the usual actions that you can achieve uh, from everywhere in a way. And you can also like clear uh, certain uh, customer fields or have uh, external requests. Um, and uh, that uh, gives you a whole lot of opportunities, especially with the delayed uh, actions that we had yesterday. So if you delay an action with uh, in a flow, uh, then you can set up uh, easy follow-up messages uh, by rules as well. So uh, what I want to talk about now is the last scene and last interaction, because um, I think uh, many people underutilize these. So I have an example rule for that. So let's just go over that and uh, we can actually uh, take a look at uh, it in live. So it's the last interaction. And um, what we have here is that I set uh, a tag for myself so it's not for everyone. <laughs> That's a clever way to test things out uh, in a way. You just uh, tag yourself, like have a test uh, testing tag or whatever. And I have like uh, two minutes, let's set it to one minute, so it's a little bit uh, faster on this video. And um, what I have here is that uh, it starts a flow. When I, I have the, the two minutes after, let's uh, do one minute now, but uh, uh, it just sends a message. And uh, it does another thing as well, which is uh, good with this uh, last scene, last interaction that you can uh, set sort of engagement. So what I think uh, these are, are good for is, um, one of them is uh, list cleaning. So why would you want to clean your list? Well, uh, people can get annoyed if you uh, message them a lot and uh, they probably don't know how to unsubscribe and it's not so good for your Facebook karma if they block your page or set uh, all sorts of notification uh, changes there. So you kind of want to have more like uh, engaged users and not necessarily more. And also uh, with the payment plans, uh, it's probably more economical if you uh, keep only the people who actually engage with you. And with this, you can set certain rules that the last interaction, meaning that they clicked on a button or typed something was uh, in the last uh, 30 days, then then all good. But uh, if uh, they haven't interacted with you in, uh, I don't know, in two months, uh, then you can just unsubscribe them or ask them if they want to unsubscribe. And uh, because they probably are not interested anymore in your business. And uh, th you can do the same with last scene. Uh, last scene would be when they open the message and look at it. So if they didn't do that, uh, you can just clean your list. Another idea of mine is just having some sort of engagement and uh, you can see who are the people who are just messaging you the most. Uh, and you can set up some sort of ranking and you don't have to uh, consciously monitor. You can just like see, oh, interesting. These people are interacting way more than the other people. And you can uh, make uh, like it official and you can, uh, you can 
reward them at some point or you can just learn from them more because they probably more engaged more more willing to give you feedback and and can give you opportunities to improve your business all right so let's take a look at here and uh, let me just type uh, something uh, let's put a test i have a nice meme coming up when i i text this if it works uh, usually it doesn't work at live, so whatever, yeah. Uh, so after one minute, I will get another message. And let me just quickly tell you about uh, the uh, date setup, okay? So I... Did I save this? Yeah. So why did it ask me? Anyways, um, so with this date setup uh, you can uh, ask for their birthday for example and uh, give them some sort of initiative uh, or, or, or congratulations on the day or before that so if you're in a restaurant you can say like hey I know your birthday is coming this week uh, invite some friends and we will give you a free dessert or something like that and um, yeah that's uh that's what I, I'm going to test now. So basically you can um set it uh, at a certain time and it works really good for um webinars as well. So you can set manually the webinar uh time and you can uh, set up the follow-ups with this and you can reuse this flow so you don't have to use broadcast. If you have a certain webinar at a certain time, you can uh register all these people and they ha get a certain tag and they get a certain uh, custom field with this uh, concrete date and time and then uh, before that so you can say one day before uh, hours before minutes before and you can do after as well so you can uh, have a follow-up message as well and one of the things i haven't talked about here is that you can have uh, the actions execute every time or once uh, at a time so if you have some sort of discount you want to give just only once to a person uh, that's the way to do it all right and uh, here we go we got the message and our interaction was two minutes ago well it was one minute ago but uh, I didn't update this and I have here the book date uh, plugin and this is how I can uh, choose the date uh, for the birthday. I'm not going to go back to all the birthday here, but what I want to do and demonstrate this here is that I'm going to do uh, the following day. And now it's uh, 12, uh, 45, okay? Um, that's going to, yeah, that's, that's uh, that's what I'm setting it now. So it in, in two minutes, uh, it's going to be uh, notify me and send me the video that I set up, uh, which is a fun video. Okay. Um, I think that was all I, I wanted to share from this. And what I want to do in the meantime is that yesterday, if you watched the video, I, I made this little flow with the, the smart delay. And I, I mentioned that uh, we can make it smarter because uh, now it doesn't calculate the time when they click on this. But with these uh, rules, with these triggers, we can uh, use this as well. So whenever they click on the video, they, they start to watch. And let's say the video is uh, 40 minutes and you probably want to send a reminder after, like not so long after they finish the video. So it could be like 50 minutes or, or something like that. So if we go back to the rules and we don't use the date or time trigger, but what we use is the uh, action trigger, uh, the tags. So whenever they get the action tag applied, then and we have it. So now I'm going to just set this up quickly. So I'm clicking on clicked watch video and whenever this happens uh, what I want to do is uh, set up a flow start a flow and I already have this flow so I'm just going to research for it um, is it follow up or something like that yeah 
pull up 50 minutes and I just select this flow and activate and that's it. Okay, very nice. And another thing uh, here you could do is to also filter those people or like also have this timing from the point on that they receive this message. So what you can do is uh, set up a, a, a tag here as well and combine this with the last scene, uh, what you have in the timing. And if, if they, you, you have that, uh, you can filter out those people who receive this message and then uh, send this follow up. So not automatically two hours later, but two hours from the point on that they have seen this message. Really powerful, really powerful. Okay, um, and let's just watch the uh, messenger and here we go. Here is the uh, video and uh, I got uh, again the two minutes later because I interacted with the bot again. So make sure that you set up uh, the way you want it because it's an automation and it goes on any times. So any number of times, every time they would type, uh, there would be uh, follow up in in terms of the last interaction and you probably don't want to do that you probably want to do it with uh, just a one time all right guys if you have any questions just let me know and comment below uh, for new videos uh, as part of this 10 day challenge um, yeah thank you very much and stay tuned for tomorrow bye